The last time a Prime Minister celebrated again in a by-election, as Theresa May was doing today, Margaret Thatcher was in Downing Street and UK forces were just about to claim victory in the Falklands War. So Mrs May arrived on the outskirts of the Lake District this afternoon to beat her newest MP, who took the seat last night from Labour. This, this is an astounding victory for the Conservative Party, but also for the people of Copeland. You know, Labour have held this seat since the 1930s. Labour had fought hard on the threat to the NHS here. The Conservative Party candidate, 13,748. But the Tories campaigned on jobs at the old and new nuclear power stations. Labour's candidate was rushed away last night. Please don't trip me up, that would be really unfortunate. Clearly she couldn't claim it was a good result. Other Labour MPs, however, still tried to. At a point when we're 15 to 18 points behind in the polls, to Jeremy push Corbyn? the Conservatives within 2,000 votes, I think is an incredible achievement here in Copeland. This morning, Jeremy Corbyn admitted to a point Labour hadn't done well in a seat they'd held for 80 years until last night. But our message was not enough to win through in Copeland. And I congratulate Gillian Troughton on the campaign that she fought. But when we asked if he was to blame for the loss, the Labour leader's answer was clear, but not exactly comprehensive. Have you at any point this morning looked in the mirror and asked yourself this question, could the problem actually be me? No. <laughs> why not? Thank you for your question. <laughs> and that was all I was getting. Jeremy Corbyn was much keener that we focused on the other by-election last night in Stoke-on-Trent, where Labour held the seat in the face of what was a big fight against UKIP. Paul Nuttall, UKIP's leader, stood here, a seat which had voted heavily for Brexit last year, and yet Mr Nuttall finished second and not far off third. Time to go, is it, Mr Nuttall? <laughs> no, I'm only 12 weeks in, come on. We're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. So therefore, you know, we move on and our time... Will, our time will I think some people overestimated what uh, a Leave voting constituency would actually do in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an election such as this. Um, we fought a campaign based on issues that affect local people and which we know they wanted to talk about. Thank you very much, Copeland. So there is an additional Tory MP in Parliament right now while questions over leadership affect both UKIP and Labour. Chris Shipp, ITV News.